The world of extended reality is undergoing a massive transformation, and two major tech powerhouses, Google and Xreal, have just joined forces to spark a revolution. Welcome to Project Aura, the most exciting development in Android-powered AR and spatial computing to date. Whether you're passionate about augmented reality, wearables, smart glasses, or the future of digital interfaces, this new collaboration marks a turning point. In today's deep dive, we're unpacking everything we know so far about this landmark project and what it means for the next generation of immersive technology. This isn't just another announcement. It's a strategic fusion of Google's software might with Xreal's cutting-edge AR hardware. The result? A bold vision where Android becomes a major XR platform and mixed reality experiences move from experimental to essential in our daily lives. At its core, Project Aura represents a shared vision between Google and Xreal to create a robust Android-based ecosystem tailored for extended reality. Think spatial computing, intelligent interfaces, seamless connectivity, and real-world awareness, all packed into sleek, wearable AR devices. For those unfamiliar, Xreal has been a pioneer in consumer-grade AR glasses. Their products, like the Xreal Air and Air 2 Pro, have shown how AR tech can be compact, stylish, and actually usable. By partnering with Google, they now have access to one of the most powerful mobile software platforms and cloud infrastructures in the world. Project Aura isn't just a headset or a one-off device. It's an entire Android XR platform, integrating Google's services, Search, Maps, Assistant, into a spatial, voice-driven, context-aware environment. If the name Aura sounds familiar, it's because Google once used it internally for wearables and smart glasses projects in the past. Fast forward to 2025 and the name is back, but this time with real hardware, amateur software foundation, and a booming AR market. Let's not forget, Google has dabbled in XR for over a decade. From Google Glass to AR Core, the company has long understood the potential of augmented reality. However, fragmented hardware, limited developer adoption, and competition from Apple and Meta slowed progress. Now, with Xreal as a hardware ally, and the Android XR platform gaining traction, Google is poised to re-enter the race with the tools, talent, and tech to actually lead. So what exactly is Xreal bringing to the table? The answer? World-class AR optics, display technology, and user-friendly wearables. Their AR glasses already stand out in a crowded market thanks to lightweight design that resembles regular sunglasses, bright, high-resolution micro-OLED displays, spatial, computing capabilities through sensors and cameras, compatibility with smartphones and PCs now. Imagine these already impressive AR glasses powered by an Android XR OS that integrates voice commands, hand tracking, navigation overlays, and contextual AI. That's the direction Project Aura is heading in. Rumors also suggest next-gen Xreal headsets are in development, possibly wireless, equipped with better sensors, and offering deeper integration with Google's AI and cloud services. We may even see modular features like swappable lenses or magnetic accessories. Until recently, Android wasn't considered a serious XR platform. While AR Core brought AR capabilities to smartphones, the lack of a unified XR OS limited its reach in the wearable space. Project Aura changes that. With a dedicated XR layer built into Android, likely similar to Apple's Vision OS, developers can now build spatial apps using familiar tools while accessing a whole new range of APIs for hand tracking 6 f spatial. Awareness voice and AI interaction real-world object recognition cloud synchronization for context-aware experiences. Google Search might become an AR layer over your world. Google Maps could offer turn-by-turn -turn directions as floating 3D arrows in real space. Google Assistant? Your intelligent sidekick that responds to what you see and where you are. The user interface in Project Aura is also expected to be a game. Changer, possibly combining gestures, voice, and spatial menus into an intuitive new paradigm that makes touchscreens feel outdated. The role of AI and cloud in Project Aura AI is a cornerstone of Project Aura. Google has been investing heavily in generative AI, context detection, and cloud computing, and XR is where it all comes together. 
contextual smart assistants that respond, not just to voice, but also your location, gaze, and activity on device AI models that handle low latency tasks like hand gesture recognition, cloud enhanced experiences that personalize environments based on your preferences and habits. Real time, language translation, object labeling, and even AI driven storytelling in AR spaces. Imagine pointing at a landmark and Aura instantly showing you historical facts, opening a travel guide, or suggesting nearby cafes, all in real time, layered seamlessly into your vision. With Project Aura now public, it's clear that Google and XReal are aiming directly at competitors in the XR race. Apple Vision Pro has already introduced spatial computing to the premium market, but its high price and limited app support leave room for Android alternatives. MetaQuest continues to lead in VR and MR, but lacks the AR form factor and deep software integrations that Google offers. Samsung, rumored to be working on an XR headset in collaboration with Qualcomm and Google, may benefit from this Android XR push, or may end up as a competitor, if Xreal dominates the hardware scene. The key advantage for Google and Xreal? Accessibility and scale. By using Android as the foundation, Project Aura can target billions of existing users, developers, and devices. A luxury Apple and Meta don't have. What kind of real-world applications can we expect from Project Aura? A wide range across industries and everyday life. Virtual workspaces with floating windows, AR email, and messaging tools, task management with context-aware reminders, live walking directions with overlays, indoor navigation in malls, airports, and campus's real-time transit updates as you move multiplayer AR games using shared environments AR-enhanced mobile titles with spatial elements, fitness and sports, with gamified training, virtual classrooms, with interactive 3D content field trips and simulations in mixed reality language, learning via live translation and immersion 3D movie overlays, and enhanced video watching, immersive concerts or sports stats in real-time AR-enhanced social media and filters. Xreal's upcoming devices, what we know. So far, while project. Aura is still in early stages. Spec leaks and insider reports point to several new Xreal devices in the pipeline. A standalone AR headset with onboard processing, improved field of EE, view and brightness. Longer battery life advanced spatial audio and noise cancellation, integrated eye tracking and AI coprocessors. These could be released in late 2025 or early 2026 and serve as reference devices for Android XR, much like Pixel phones. Do for Android smartphones. Developer opportunities and ecosystem. Growth Google is also expected to launch an XR SDK for developers, enabling them to build and port apps specifically for Project Aura. This will open doors for existing Android app developers to enter XR Unity and Unreal developers to target a new platform custom experiences for retail, real estate, education, and healthcare and Android XR App Store might follow. Possibly integrated into the Play Store, but curated for spatial experiences. Final Thoughts Project Aura is more than just a product. It's the foundation of an entire ecosystem one that could finally make AR glasses and spatial computing mainstream.